Welcome. This question says a 5 coulomb negative charge sits at a point which is 2i plus 2j plus 2k uh, meters, I guess. Um, a cubic Gaussian surface is 4 meters on edge with one corner at the origin and its opposite corner at 4i plus 4j plus 4k meters. What is the electric flux through the cube's surface? So let's visualize first of all. So we can have, let's first of all do our axes. Just remind ourselves in physics we have x, and then we have y, and then we have z. And our point of interest, let's do this in red, our point of interest is at 2, 2, 2. So that's 1, 2, 1, 2. So I can, there's my back wall. 1, 2 coming forward. There's my side wall. There's my floor. There's my ceiling. And that's where the charge is. Now, what about my Gaussian surface? Well, for my Gaussian surface, uh, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's the back wall. And then one, two, three, four, there's the side wall. And then there's the floor. And then there's the ceiling. And then there's the, the right hand wall. And my Gaussian surface is a cube and it has one corner at the origin. So one corner back there and the other corner is up here. So if I draw it in a bit more vigorously. Gaussian surfaces do not have to be spherical. They can be any shape that's convenient. And so this is my, I'm imagining a transparent cube and buried inside the transparent cube, well, Maybe inside, maybe outside, that's rather to be determined. Somewhere around here is a charge. And I think you can see that that charge is inside that cube. It doesn't matter where it is inside the cube, as long as it is inside the cube. As it happens, it's at the center of the cube. It's very symmetrical. But that doesn't matter for today's question. What we say is that well, Gauss's law says that my flux is equal to the integral of E dotted with dA, which equals Q inside over epsilon naught, and that's Gauss's law. And I'm not really worried about this inside bit again, like the last question. What I do is I say, well, my flux, now what is my flux? My flux is, if you like, the number of arrows going through this Gaussian surface and I'm not going to draw all of them but oh it's a negative charge <laughs> so um, I, just, I just remembered it's a negative charge so my arrows actually point inwards attention to detail there Bonacristi let's get on so my arrows point inwards and you know, some parts of this cube are further away than other parts of the cube from the from the chart. I'm going to draw some underneath. And, you know, at the front, we can imagine arrows going in. And if you're nearer, if it happens that this, the bit of the surface that you're, you're going through is nearer the charge, you'll have a bigger electric field, so you'll have a bigger arrow. And if you're over in one of these corners, it will be a relatively small arrow, because you're relatively far away. So that's, it's, it's kind of like this flux, it's kind of like how many of those arrows do you have? And this is simply equal to Qn over epsilon naught. Qn means what's the charge inside? And the charge inside is minus 5 over, and we have epsilon naught. Now in my class, if you're doing, if you're in my class, I may ask you to work out the actual true value for homework. But I ask a lot of questions in tests, so I'd be quite happy with you leaving epsilon naught as epsilon naught. It's a constant. It's worth 8.8 .8 times 10 to the minus 12 farads per meter. 
but you know, for testing purposes, I'm quite happy with an answer that is minus 5 over epsilon naught. I need units, shame on me, I didn't put my units down. It's going to be, if I look over here, I see it's newtons per coulomb. Areas are measured in meters squared. So that's what I'm, that's my answer. So there I have it.